Thank you very much for waiting. We'd like to begin the reports. And first from uh, Professor Chihiro Shimizu uh, from Faculty of Data Science, Tsubashi University, uh, Green Building and its Evaluation in the Market in Japan. Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. My name is Shimizu from Hitotsubas University. So today I'd like to talk about uh, eco-friendly property and economic premium in Japan. I have been looking forward to this conference. Uh, Professor Kurahashi, who is moderating today, one, he has been guiding me ever since I was in graduate school. And uh, when Professor came back from Cambridge to Japan, I think it was the first time that he has provided that me advice. And also, Professor Fritz, uh, he's, we've been friends for uh, the past 20 years, and I hope to be able to introduce some of these joint uh, research with him. Uh, so my specialty is big, uh, to try to use big data as much as possible uh, to measure economics. So uh, the Professor Toyota uh, is doing the same in Tokyo University. Uh, we are collaborating. So in terms of economic measurement from that perspective, as uh, uh, Professor Franz said, uh, so high environmental performance real estate, uh, they uh, buildings with a green building certificate are impacting uh, the price and rents of commercial or residential buildings. So what is the impact? Is it positive or not? So we tr are trying to measure that. And in thinking about this issue, uh, the first trigger was about 20 years ago. In green, initially, I did not even know the word green building. And Professor Franz was in Scotland at that time. And there was an international workshop, a new leaders conference. Uh, of course, myself and uh, Professor Franz was not a professor. I was an assistant professor in a very small university, but this is to select a from continental new future new leader to carry out a workshop, Hendershot, a Professor Hendershot workshop. And I met him for the first time and I heard the uh, term green building for the first time at then. And since then, uh, Franz called me and uh, we did joint research. And this is the result of that, this paper. So luxury goods. And that is what we are asking, green luxury goods. So as has already been said, in terms of real estate with high environmental performance, this is our concerning residents. Is it really, does it really have premium and why? So we try to think of that. And what we are looking at here is the condominium mar condominium market. It. The condominium price is uh, derived from various attributes. For example, if it is close to the train station, it will be higher. And also if it is new, it will be higher and uh, better location, higher price. So all of these need to be controlled. And we look at environmental uh, performance, whether it's high or low. And based on that, uh, we look at whether there is premium. So we decided to look into this. And I uh, will not go into the details of the model because this was mentioned briefly by France earlier on, so I would like to skip this part. And so based on this content of control, what is the premium that has been discovered? So let me very briefly introduce this to you. So here, asking price, transaction price, uh, these words are shown. In the market, if there is high price, for example, there's environment, high environmental performance, and these are transacted at a higher price. In order for that to be done, then the supplier, the producer, has to make efforts to sell at a higher price. And uh, after making such efforts to sell at a higher price, the consumer will accept or not. So that is how the market mechanism works. And uh, actually, according to our research as well, about 6% higher price is the effort made. However, the transaction price is not that high. It's only about 55% premium. And that, so that is, was my first discovery. Then over time, does the premium change? 
And that is what is often said. So 2005 through 2010, initially, the initial period, uh, at that time from MLIT, uh, there was the Land Information Center. So there they were carrying, there was a research to carry out uh, economic measurement of these buildings. And I was the chair of that working group and and I started the research and we did the analysis. So Lehman Shock was about 2008, 2009. And uh, the premium it went up, but after 2010, after something like Lehman Shock occurs, then the premium becomes smaller. So that is what we discovered according to our research. So what we want to say is that whether or not there is premium, this will depend uh, on this will depend greatly on the market environment. And the second point is, I talked about uh, there was a question on whether green is luxury good. So the purchasers' uh, income, if that is controlled, then higher income uh, people would pay higher premium. But uh, those with lower income would not uh, pay that much of a premium. So how about commercial buildings? So there was another research team. We looked at that energy efficiency, efficiency and the future of real estate. And this is a, a chapter of a book, uh, together with Professor Yoshida from Pennsylvania a State University. We carried out this search, and what we saw here was uh, within the mechanism of responding to rent and price. So, if there is something that is good for the environment, then, for example, water electricity consumption should go down. So there should be a reduction effect. So that is what we looked at first. And actually, for example, not only water and uh, power, but after uh, controlling the other attributes, the consumption went down. We were able to find that. But taking that into consideration, as we saw earlier on, so with this environment uh, certificate, if uh, rents are are actually high as a result of that. The environmental performance is high, environmental certificate. For those buildings, I mentioned earlier that those buildings will have higher performance. However, if energy is controlled, then that prior, uh, that uh, premium disappears. And that is what we found. And then what happens is that high rent, high price, paying that, yeah, that would be a consideration to save energy. So that is the only reason why uh, people will pay premium, meaning that actually there is no premium. That is what, uh, what we found in the Japanese office, ma office building market. And this is the last part concerning our research. Uh, France, uh, you have two more minutes. So Professor France, when he was in Melbourne, uh, he called me and sea level rights. So by looking at this, what would be the impact uh, to prices under climate change? And I looked and um, he asked me this question in Japan. And in our research, this gray plot, uh, that's where detached houses are. Flat risk, uh, the flooding risk is high, that is in blue. So these locations, uh, the prices are lower, that is the market mechanism. And if these climate change risks uh, if they are absorbed in the market, so uh, that is exactly what happens. So this is the conclusion. So whether or not there is green certificate, when we look at that, the due to the market me mechanism, so if there is high environment performance, then there is power for high uh, price. So in terms of uh, high risk, there is, it functions uh, in terms of the market price. But using this market mechanism in Japan, we have earthquakes, and maybe there will be heavy rain. And overseas, there are something, uh, disasters like wildfires. So as one of that, uh, global warming is perceived. So how can these be controlled as we create a sustainable society? So the design of that is going to become important going forward. And so uh, I hope to discuss the more detailed policies going forward. That is all for me. Thank you very much. Uh, Professor Shimizu, thank you very much for your presentation.